Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 27 here at Shamrock Valley with me, this gaming man. I'm down at the pig pen. Just fed all the animals, just fed the pigs. And yeah, just a little check in on the pigs. They've been very busy, let's say that. Um, yeah, they've. Uh, let's have a quick look, I'll just show you. We now have 76 new pigs. Well, animals in the pig pen. We've got loads of pigs, we've got loads of babies. They've been very busy. <laughs> um, I don't know what we're going to do with them all because um, we're going through pig food like it's going out of fashion. Um, just show you here, we've got loads of new births, loads of, yeah, just loads <laughs> all coming through. We've got pigs that are due to, due to uh, have um, babies very soon. But yeah, they've just been going absolutely ballistic. So probably in the next episode, I might probably start selling some of our Gloucester shears because... You know, we've got, I think they're about six months old now, so we could sell them or we could wait till they're a bit bit bigger and then sell them when they're a bit bigger. So yeah, been going, they have been going mad. Um, See so down the bottom here, we've got some new births here. These are all new down here. So yeah, lots and lots and lots of piggies to do something to do with them i think we'll be taking some of them to the market we'll take some of the gloucesters to to market we've got some that are ready to drop as well like i say with the uh, mature pigs right jobs for today today we are going to open a market stall we are going to sell our eggs we're also going to sell our pallet pellets we're going to buy a slurry spreader and we're going to spread digestate on our field four. So you see here I've already loaded up all the the um, eggs onto the onto the John Deere gator. It's going to shut the back up so they don't end up all over the place. There's a egg pallet on the floor or egg box on the floor. That's only just spawned that has so we'll leave that there. Probably won't be many eggs in there anyway. So yeah, so we're going to open up a stall, a market stall, our own market stall. Um, egg prices aren't too bad on the uh, on the list. I'll just have a quick look, show you. They're not bad on the egg prices. You know, some of them are on the on the way down, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I think we will probably. I'll open our own market stall. Quite fancy opening our own market stall. So it's um, selling our own produce. Let's reverse the gates back up. We'll head up, up to the farm. How is everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Um, keeping well. Okay, not the way. So yeah, we are we are now in the second day of early spring. Um, leaves are starting to form on the trees, getting buds on the trees. It's all looking very nice now. But looks like we've got away without having any snow this winter, which is pretty good. I've also updated our weather geo to um, the latest Dublin weather geo from the um, mod hub. I was sort of laid off of it, of updating it for a while because I didn't know if it was going to mess my game up. But we'll see. Hopefully everything germinates well. Yeah, it looks really nice around here at the moment in early spring. Looks very nice. So yeah, um, going back to the market stall, didn't really know where I was going to put it. Um, it's a newish mod that's come onto the uh, onto the mod hub. Um, 
I'll show you when we get up the top. Um, can't really remember who it's by. I'll try and remember who it's by. If not, I'll put a, a link on the... Um, not a link, I'll probably put something on the screen or in the information on the video. But it's in the Mod Hub anyway, so you can download it. Cars just drive so slowly on this map. See, I was going to put it... You kind of a bit limited where you can put it. It's got quite a big trigger on it, I think. I was quite fancy putting it outside, just out here on the front, but it wouldn't let me put it out there on a little uh, inspection, see where I could put it. So I still don't really know where I'm going to put it at the moment. I'm struggling up this hill. So yeah, I'm going to probably put it somewhere up here on this uh, placeable area. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it yet. I could put it by the pallet hall maybe or I could put it by the greenhouses. I'm not really sure where we're going to put it. So it is under placeables if I remember rightly. Miscellaneous and where is it? Have I gone past it? No. Um, here it is, pallet market stall, market stall, click through the menu a bit too quick. It's um, two slots and yeah, it's a, only cost £500. So I think well worth, um, well worth the investment. And it's another little sellable area. It sells most of the, um, most of the uh, produce. Uh, you can sell milk here, you can sell water here, you can sell wheat, canola. doesn't sell all your main crops. I can't really decide where I'm going to put it, so I'll do a jump cut. Right, after much deliberation, um, we're going to put it here alongside the greenhouse. I know it's a little bit out of the way and it's hidden away, but I didn't want it to upset any of the other triggers. So... Yeah, kind of looks nice up here alongside the greenhouses. Little area for people to pull up and empty all their produce out. and Well, for me to empty the produce out, should I say. So I don't know if it's going to empty straight off the back of the uh, gator. So I'll just have a quick look to see where we are on the uh, on the list. It's the Hoffenladen stand. I think that's how you pro pronounce it. Hoffenladen and we're going to get 2,940 per thousand litres of eggs. Because I don't know if you can just drive over and they come off the gate or all. We have to unload by hand. Park quite a way away, I think, from the uh, stand here, actually. Just take the straps off. Just reverse up. They might disappear might have to jump out and oh there you go that's quite good come out have to jump out and chuck these about got some of rid of some of them don't really want to tip them out oh there goes one There's another one. Riveting stuff this. <laughs> There's another one. Come on, out you get. There goes another one. So by my calculations, I think we've sold £3,969 worth of eggs. That's not too bad. So yeah, quite a nice little uh, little stand that. Um, does the majority, like I say, does the majority of your of your 
crops, not all of them. I don't think it does things like sunflowers and corn and things like that, but it does eggs, it does milk, it does wheat, it does canola, um, does soya beans, but does potatoes. So it's, it's another place we can sell our eggs when we get, not eggs, uh, milk, sorry, when we get some milk. So that's that done, job done. Let's drive over to the pallet hall. This over here. Lovely. So all the um, straw has been made into pallet pellets. Um, we've sent the the pelletizer and the shredder, bale shredder, back to the um, back to the shop because it was going to cost us too much to um, to keep it. Um, just to put the menu on, it doesn't tell us how many pallets we've made. That's only on the daily rate, isn't it? Um, I think, pretty sure we made 28 pallets. I'm sure we made 28 pallets in total. Some on the trailers you just saw as I ran by. And got some more here. Got five there. Five. Got some more here as well. So yeah, we're gonna. I think we're gonna take. We've got eight on the trailer, so we're gonna take another two down on the front of the um, on the front of here, on the front of the um, class uh, scorpion. So yeah, we've got a couple of pallets, pallet, half a pallet, not even half a pallet, about a quarter pallet left in the machine, which is a bit of a shame. We can't empty that out. So, just going to connect these up. I'm going to take these down on the front. Is that on? That's on. Yeah, they're on. So, this, um, this front loading thing is brilliant. I quite like that. Probably get them side on. One seems to be floating in midair at the moment. I'll just unload it and then I'll just square them up and then load them back up. Yeah, you can pick up multiple pallets with it. Um, it's a good little bit of a kit, really, with straps from the CSZ pack. It's the big bag handler from the CSZ pack. CSZ pack. Right, so we're going to head on down to the docks. There's a place down in the docks that will take these off of our hands. Let's load these up. Let's strap them all down, shall I say. We've got ten pallets in total. Eight on the back, two on the front. Yeah, it's looking nice on the map at the moment. Spring is springing. Very nice, very nice indeed. Um, so yeah, we're going to buy a slurry spreader later as well. I don't know how much we're going to get for for these pallets. I haven't got a clue. And it looks like it's just starting to rain. And I think the sheep are starting to produce wool as well, which is good. Yeah, it's starting to rain now. So yeah, I'm going to take these down to the docks. There's a company down there that will take them off our hands. It's quite handy. Got a main distribution centre down there they have. Yeah, I don't know how much we're gonna get for these really. Yeah, 
it's just a matter of getting rid of the straw really because we had that much straw all the straw's gone now I could sit on these and wait for the price to go up but I just want them out want them gone really you know trying to keep some of the money back we've got from the hiring the pelletizer that cost us just over 16,000 to hire then we had to get the bale shredder as well and then we had a daily rate we would took me about three hours to use it it did to get all the bales shredded and everything it took a while so I believe the company is just around the corner I think it's just around the corner around here oh there it is on the left hand side there just drop the trailer up there um, see how we get on selling these Ooh, that's handy 3,356 those two pallets not too bad so I can just probably just drive the trailer square the trailer off and then just drive along and probably just unload automatically which is quite handy thunder there in the background so we we'll set about 16,000 16,780 or so I think um, let's have a quick look yeah I think so I think probably about 16,000 700 or something right I think I might go back up and get the other pallet uh, I'll get another 10 and sell those as well just get rid of them so I'm just going to jump up to the so I just jumped back up to the uh, pallet hall we've still got another 5 in here I'll sell those later we're just going to do another run get rid of these and I'll see you back down there right back down again a little bit of a jump cut it was a proper job shredding all the bales and uh, yeah, might have been useful just to uh, have a more powerful tractor and make them in the field as we go along. So, yep, that's that second load of pallets gone, pallet pellets. So, yeah, we're going to go and buy a slurry spreader now. And jump into the massey. Because we've got quite a bit of digestate down at the um, biogas plant now. So I'm going to use that. It's, it's free fertiliser. Um, so it kind of makes sense using that. I don't know how much we've got down there, but I think we've got quite a bit. We've sold a lot of uh, bales and bales of silage and things. And hay. So... the spreader that we are going to go for it's field sorry it's not field four i said field four earlier i think we're going to do we're going to do field three we don't eat own field four yeah we're going to use fat do spread on field three so there's lots of really nice ones we could go for this one but not quite enough money to get that and we still have a loan so we haven't really got a massive amount we could go for, but I think the one, well, I know the one. That's one of the part of the new Alpine pack. 
The one we are going to go for are quite handy as well to have these uh, little runner trailers and the slurry containers. They're quite useful. The one we're going to go for is the Marshall on the end here. It's only 14,000. There's nothing else really we can go for. I think we're going to go for them. We're going to go for the Marshall. But they're quite useful to the little things to have. You can run around with those with the slurry in if you're doing bigger runs, longer runs and things. The other thing you can use is that. The uh, That's quite handy to use as well. The Garant. Um, it's a little trailer, like a slurry spreader. A slurry trailer, like a runner trailer. But this is what we're going to go for. The ST1800 or 1800. Um, I'm going to go for Trelleborg tyres, I think. Lock it, um, Michelin look quite nice, so just lift it up a little bit. I think we we'll go for Trelleborg for now. So, right. That's purchased. Gonna head down now. Gonna do a bit of a jump cut now as we head down to the uh, BGA to get the digest eight. So, like I say, I don't know how much we've got in this uh, digest eight tank. We have ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety three liters of digest eight. Blimey, all the nines and one three. Right, up now at field three. Not four as I previously misstated. So yeah, I quite like this slurry spreader. It's a nice little slurry spreader. Only 80, 80 litre, uh, yeah, 8,000 litres, 80, 80 litres, 8,000 litres. Uh, four slots as well, quite handy. But I could have got, could have rented it. I could have got a bigger slurry spreader and rented it. But we have got quite a bit of digestate kicking about, and we're going to have some more digestate when I sell some of the um, silage we've got in the silage clamp down at the BGA. So I might use this on contracts as well, so we can get a bit of use out of it. Also probably use it on our grass fields as well. Still umming and ahhing about what to do, whether we're going to cut our, one of our grass fields into a, into a crop field, into, when I say crop field, like a um, you know, produce crop, like a wheat or soybean or sunflower or potatoes still not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet I suppose we're going to need more grass but if we're if we're moving on after this after this summer we shouldn't need too much more grass really because we've got quite a bit in stock at the moment it's absolutely tipping it down at the moment I don't know if you should be uh, spreading slurry when it's raining. Like right, this, or hot slurry digestate. So, don't know how many loads this is going to take, because this is our biggest field that we own at the moment. I might go out this entrance as well, take a little bit off the journey. Just open the gate. Go scenic view, scenic route. Very nice. I'm just going to jump back, jump cut, and I'll see you in a bit. Right, it's another load loaded up. Heading back up the hill now. 
to field three. Do you like the windmill? The windmill is a nice little touch. Do you like this field on the right hand side? It's quite expensive though. It's, it's about two, over, just over 200,000 if I remember rightly. Start off here. So it's going to take us quite a few loads to do this. Going to be here for a long time. Well, the rain looks like it's easing off. So, yeah, not sure what we're going to plant in here either yet. We might plant, um, toying with the idea of putting some flowers in here. Um, yeah, not 100% sure. Let us know in the comment section below if you got any ideas what we should put in here. I was thinking about putting soybeans in here as well, but I'm not sure if it's going to work with the geo. I don't know. If anyone knows, let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, nice. I do you like this tank? I don't mind using small kit. To be honest, using big kits great, but it's kind of more realistic using smaller kit. It is for the few in the UK. Farmers don't have massive tanks. Lucky to own a big tank. Yeah, it's running out quite nicely not too bad not too bad on the uh, emptying scale but I'm going to carry on doing this and thank you so much for watching I don't know how many loads this is going to take but thank you so much for watching please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already and until the next time we shall see you soon.